Welcome back to Hydro Haven, where today we're tackling one of the biggest challenges many of you have messaged us about, dead, lifeless soil that seems impossible to revive. If you're staring at a patch of hardpan clay, depleted sandy soil, or ground that's been stripped of nutrients through years of conventional agriculture, this video is your roadmap to recovery. We're diving deep into seven remarkable nitrogen-fixing plants that not only survive in challenging conditions, but actively rebuild soil fertility by creating humus, that dark, rich organic matter that forms the foundation of thriving gardens and landscapes. Before we explore our soil-building superstars, let's clarify what humus actually is. Humus represents the stable organic matter in soil that has been broken down to its most resistant form. Unlike fresh organic material, humus won't decompose further under normal conditions. This dark, spongy substance is essentially the long-term carbon storage system of your soil, and it's absolutely crucial for several reasons. Humus dramatically improves soil structure, creating pore spaces that allow water infiltration and root penetration. It acts like a sponge, holding up to 90% of its weight in water while still maintaining good drainage. Perhaps most importantly, humus forms complex bonds with nutrients, preventing them from leaching away while remaining accessible to plants. A soil rich in humus requires less fertilizer, less irrigation, and provides greater resilience during environmental stress. The problem many gardeners face is that building humus typically takes years, sometimes decades. That's where our nitrogen-fixing plants enter the picture, accelerating the process dramatically by adding both nitrogen and organic matter simultaneously. Let's explore these soil-building powerhouses and how to use them effectively. Nitrogen fixer number one, red clover, also known as trifolium pretense. Red clover stands as one of the most versatile and effective soil builders available to gardeners. This short-lived perennial can thrive in soil with pH levels ranging from 5.5 to 7.0, making it adaptable to most garden conditions. What makes red clover exceptional is its deep tap root that penetrates compacted soil layers, creating channels for water, air, and future plant roots. In just one growing season, red clover can fix up to 150 pounds of nitrogen per acre, while simultaneously producing significant biomass both above and below ground. To use red clover effectively, broadcast seed at approximately one quarter pound per 1,000 square feet in early spring or fall. For dead soil rehabilitation, consider inoculating the seeds with rhizobium bacteria to ensure effective nitrogen fixation, especially if legumes haven't been grown in the area before. The magic happens when you cut red clover at flowering stage and either incorporate it into the soil or use it as mulch. This triggers massive root dieback, releasing stored nitrogen and carbon into the soil ecosystem. After cutting you can either replant food crops immediately, or allow the clover to regrow for multiple cuts throughout the season, each time building more soil organic matter. Many gardeners establish a pattern of cutting red clover every 60 days during the growing season, creating waves of nutrient release and organic matter contribution. Nitrogen fixer number two, alfalfa, scientifically known as Metachygo sativa. When it comes to deep soil building, few plants match alfalfa's capabilities. With taproots that can extend 15 feet or more into the soil profile, alfalfa mines minerals from deep subsoil layers while fixing atmospheric nitrogen. This long-lived perennial thrives in well-drained soils and once established, demonstrates remarkable drought tolerance. Alfalfa contributes to humus formation through its extensive root system, which constantly slews off root cells and exudates that feed soil microorganisms. The plant can fix between 150 to 250 pounds of nitrogen per acre annually, but its true value lies in its ability to improve soil structure at multiple depths simultaneously. For dead soil rehabilitation, sow alfalfa at 1 quarter pound per 1,000 square feet, ideally in areas where it can grow for at least one full year before incorporation. Alfalfa works exceptionally well as part of a rotation system where it grows for a full season, is cut multiple times with clippings used as high nitrogen mulch elsewhere in the garden, and then incorporated fully in preparation for heavy feeding crops like corn or brassicas. Nitrogen fixer number three, hairy vetch also known as Vicia velosa. For rapid transformation of poor soil, particularly in cooler climates, 
Hairy vetch delivers impressive results. This winter-hardy annual legume can be seeded in late summer or early fall, where it establishes before winter, and then explodes with growth in early spring. Hairy vetch excels at survival in acidic soils, with a pH range of 5 to 7, that would challenge many other nitrogen fixers. What makes hairy vetch particularly valuable for humus building is its perfect carbon-to-nitrogen ratio when incorporated at the flowering stage. With approximately 3.5% nitrogen content in its biomass, hairy vetch decomposes at an optimal rate, fast enough to release nutrients for the next crop but slow enough to contribute to lasting humus formation. Seed hairy vetch at 1 to 2 pounds per 1,000 square feet, ideally mixed with a small amount of winter rye for structural support. When spring arrives, allow the vetch to grow until it begins flowering, typically in May, then either incorporate it into the soil or cut and use as mulch. Research from Rodale Institute shows that a mature stand of hairy vetch can contribute the equivalent of 100 to 150 pounds of nitrogen per acre while adding significant organic matter. Nitrogen fixer number 4, sweet clover, also known as Melilotus officinalis. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into nitrogen fixing soil builders. If you're working on rehabilitating dead soil, we'd love to hear about your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Hydro Haven for more practical, science based gardening advice, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming video on brewing compost tea to supercharge these nitrogen fixers. Until next time, keep growing and building better soil.